I have books from the Fantast Collection, Selling Superman. You're not going to want to miss these gems. Stay tuned. What's up, fam? And welcome to another one of Wolverine Comic Shop's unboxings. I hope everyone out there is having a good day. Fam, like I was just saying, these are from the Fantast Collection, the soon-to-be-released documentary titled Selling Superman. Shout out to One True Nerd King and Rage Theo. So, uh, Memorial Day weekend, Rage Theo and One True Nerd King fly out to Michigan. They fly out to Michigan, maybe Michigan, Michigan. And they go to where the Fantast collection is at, okay? It is basically like a vault of just comic books everywhere. And so basically what they were tasked to do was to run an Instagram live claim sale for basically two days. And Rage Theo and One True Nerd King, like the animals that they are, basically went like 36 straight hours of just selling comic books out of this collection. But it wasn't... It wasn't the fact of just selling the books from the collection and us having an opportunity to buy them. It was the fact that they were there and they were literally... <laughs> they were literally digging through boxes like, hmm, okay. Uh, you know, Phil was like, hmm, this box looks interesting. Let's go through it real quick. So he just starts fumbling through. And, you know, people obviously are just are watching and just playing. We, what's the price? Just claim. Yeah, it was just wild because there were books, magazines. I mean, things that I, I had never even heard of. I had never even existed. Obviously, I've never seen them before. And it was just so much fun. I, I pretty much watched these guys for a total of eight or nine hours. My wife was like so goddamn pissed off at me. Um, but th there was just so much. There was just so much to 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 look at. I will say, for two days straight, I tried to buy a Marvel premiere, CGC nine point six white pages first appearance of Iron Fist, and I mean, man, these guys they would not, they would not sell it to me for what I wanted it for. Okay, I'm not gonna say what I wanted it for. That that stuff is over, but. Man, you guys had a chance. I wanted that book. So, I found a couple books. I, like I said, I was there for like eight hours. I was just really entertained by just kind of getting an opportunity to see, you know, how often you get a chance to see, you know, a comic book collection that is said to have had amassed 300,000 books. And you're like basically at the place of where all the sorting and the packing and the... Look at this packing job. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is magnificent. I didn't prep this. I didn't prep this ahead of time. I wanted this to be like really the full thing, man. This is what it is to buy books from Rage Theo and from One True Nerd King from the Fantast collection selling Superman. There are three books in here. Uh, three bangers. <laughs> They're actually up on the wall already. You know, as much as I was on there, I, I didn't really do all that much bidding because I really wanted that Marvel premiere. But in one of the times that I was kind of basically coming back on, there were these two books, and I, I, I almost missed them. I almost missed them. And somebody had already made an offer on them. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I might never see these in this condition ever again. That's the thing. That's what you guys got to understand about this Fantastic Collection is that 
the 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 vast majority of the books are just in such really great condition and so for the price that these particularly were going for and um uh, rage did work with me a little bit on the price here uh kind of like he worked with everybody and i was able to come away with these two books when you see them you you know, if you guys know me, if you follow me, you'll know right away why, why I bought them. And, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So, I, I know that they'll be doing it again. I, I'm excited to potentially, you know, get some more books and see what we might be able to come away with, you know. Wow, this, this, this packing job is just awesome. Uh, great job. This just want them to come out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flip it open. Oh boy, there's. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting that. Okay, there it is. There it is. It just came up. Okay, here's the first one. Up. Be really gentle. Oh my god. Okay. Y'all know, y'all know, this is my book. This is it. This is the book that started it all. And to see it in just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful copy, I was like, yeah, no, I'm going for it. So Marvel Graphic Novels number five, X-Men, God Loves Man Kills from 1982. First printing. First printing. This thing is beautiful. It's 100% it's, it's going to CGC. I, just looking at it, it is freaking pristine i don't even want to hold it this one actually might look better than the 9.8 i already have that is signed by chris claremont this book is impossible to get in a 9.8 now i haven't seen the book i am not going to take it out right now but there it is in all of its glory the fantast collection the fantastic collection okay which now leads me to my next book i'm gonna push that off to the side because this book i have in only an 8.0 when i saw this book and and it, it did go for a nice price okay this, this book was not cheap and it shouldn't be cheap it should not be cheap so so oh my god Okay, there it is. So, there it is. Death of Captain Marvel, number one. Marvel Graphics Novel, number one. 1982. First printing. I'm almost shaking, for Christ's freaking sakes. Um, man. This copy is... Oof. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's beautiful. You know, I think too highly underrated. So, um, I, I've never shown them on YouTube. I've shown them plenty on Instagram. So, one of the first things I ever tried to really kind of collect was Marvel graphic novels. Marvel graphic novels number one. Uh, Marvel graphics novel uh, three, four, and five. Okay, first printings. Uh, Death of Captain Marvel number one, uh, Dreadstar, Marvel Graphics Novel number three, Dreadstar, Marvel Graphics Novel number four, The New Mutant, and Marvel Graphics Novel number five, X-Men. So, there you have it. And that find, that leads me to my last, so, I was, again, I just, this just came up, and I was like, what the hell is that? And at first, I thought it was Thor. I thought it was Thor. You know, Phil goes, Thor. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I want a Thor by Joe Kubert. And he goes, no, Thor. And I was like, yeah, okay, I want a Thor with an H book. And he goes, Thor, do you understand? I was like, yes. And then I realized it was Tor. 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 <laughs> Thor. 
it's cool. I think it's cool. I don't know. It's, you know, 15 bucks. Wolverine's Comic Shop. Clean. Bang. Bang. Clean. All right. There you have it. From, oh, holy shit. From the Fantastic Collection, shout out again to One True Mirror King, Rage Theo. Thank you all so much. Guys, if you're not doing so already, go ahead and check us out on Instagram, eBay, Shortbox, whatnot, TikTok. And we will catch you at the very next unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Let's go, bub.